It is that time of year again when Unquote publish the quarterly barometer in association with Candover. And with me today, I have our head of research, Emmanuel left to me. Thank you very much for joining me today. Hi, Rike. And in Q3, we saw a slight uptick in market activity. What did we observe in Q4? Well, unfortunately, the trend didn't uphold. Um, we've seen a drop in volume and value in Q3 in overall private equity activity uh, by about 10% to 231 deals valued at about 10 billion euros. Um, now, this was mainly due to a drop in uh, venture activity as well as, as growth capital. So what about buyouts then? Well, overall buyout activity is up for the third consecutive quarter to about um, 77 deals in uh, Q4, worth about 9 billion euros. Um, now, this is positive news, of course, but um, you have to take into account the previous rises throughout the quarters. Now, while buyout activity increased to more than 20% quarter on quarter previously, now this uh, rate of growth has actually slowed down to about 8%. And at the same time, values of these buyouts is slightly down. Now, the reason for that is probably to do, has probably to do with the mid-market. Um, the mid-market in the barometer, which is between 100 million uh, and a billion uh, enterprise valuations, has actually um, decreased. The deals done in this range, uh, that were previously about a quarter, have now dropped to below 20%, while at the same time, the lower space, which is the below 100 million enterprise valuations, deals in that space have surged to about 80% in uh, Q4 now. And how about the vendors? Because I recall from Q3 that the family and private vendors represented nearly half of all the deal source for buyouts. Uh, that's correct. And um, vendors uh, or the family private um, owned businesses uh, have actually dropped to a third in Q4. Um, now, this might have to do with the economic uncertainty, the prevailing economic uncertainty that is impacting on market confidence. Because that was another issue we discussed last time, the economic certainty or uncertainty in this case and how that affects confidence, which is a key factor in activity. That is correct. And, and well, market confidence remains fragile. Um, we've seen, um, we haven't seen actually the expected uh, recovery, the real recovery in the economy that many have expected. And um, at the same time, we've seen actually a return of the pricing gap mismatch between buyers and sellers that we had observed throughout 2009. Um, recently, we've done a, a study, uh, a survey of um, industry professionals, uh, which revealed that 75% of market participants uh, do think that entry prices have not fallen sufficiently to reflect the economic outlook. Now, on the other hand, uh, we've seen obviously a drop in family or privately owned business being sold, but we've seen a high amount of corporate disposal still in the market, and at the same time, a, a surge of secondary buyouts. Could you mention a few of the biggest secondary buyouts we saw? Yes, well, the most recent one being Apex Partners Marken deal announced in December, and we also saw EQT 2.3 billion led uh, Springer Science and Business Media uh, last year. Now, all these secondary buyouts, which are more than a quarter of uh, the activity, uh, reflect simply the need of private equity houses to exit portfolio companies after what is it, over a year of a complete standstill, actually, of the exit market. With respect to the debt markets, because the lack of readily available debt was said to be a bit of a deal breaker in 2009, how do you see the debt markets develop? Well, I've recently spoken to a few debt providers who have actually confirmed that there is enough debt capacity in the market, uh, enough debt to support the expected pipeline of deals in the market. So debt is available. But I think what remains key is uh, the market confidence for these buyouts to actually happen. And bearing that in mind, if we were to take a peek into the future, what trends should we be on the outlook for? Well, secondary buyout activity is uh, certainly an interesting one to follow, uh, given that we've got more debt in the market now, and private equity funds are sitting on a large amount of dry powder. So there are definitely prospective buyers. However, cynics argue at the moment, and that's one last point on secondary buyouts to make, that the companies being sold at the moment are simply the best of breed. So the 
best crop in the portfolio, uh, which then begs the question, will the rest sell? I'll leave that question for our next chat. Thank you very much, Emmanuel. If you want to download the Encore Barometer, you can do that on our website, which is www.encore.com. And on that website, the survey Emmanuel referred to earlier will also be available. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Rick Eko from Encore.